Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect remotely to a Windows XP computer from Ubuntu Linux. I happen to be in Ubuntu now and one of the applications that is built in is under the internet category and it's called Terminal Server Client. If you don't have it for whatever reason, you can go to Add Remove. It will check your installed and available applications first. It takes a second. After that, just search for Terminal Server, and there is the Terminal Server client right there. So if you don't have it, it is in Add Remove, and then it will appear under the Internet category of Applications. So we'll go ahead and launch that. Now this has my previous session, but I'm just going to explain to you how this works. Um, most of you probably don't have Samba enabled, which will enable host names for Windows host names, so I just connect directly to the computer on my local network by IP. And I use protocol RDP version 5, which is remote desktop, desktop protocol. If you use RDP and hover over it, it'll say, should anyway, one second. There we go. RDP protocol is used to connect to Microsoft Windows 2000 and older systems and RDP version 5 protocol is used to connect to Microsoft Windows XP and newer systems, so that's the one I'm going to use. This username and password is the username and password to my Windows XP machine. I don't have to fill out the rest of these. And then under display, I use a specified size of 1152 by 864. You can use whatever you want. By default, it goes to 640, which is really small. You should do at least 1024. I do 1152. You can do full screen mode also if you want. Down here is the color depth. I use true color because I'm on my local LAN here. I'm over wireless actually, but uh, true color works over that. For the local resources, I don't touch this. I don't touch programs or perform. If you can, if you want to, I don't. Go back to general and then I just click connect. And there is my Windows XP machine. There's a start, my start button down there. Uh, I am in Ubuntu going through to a Windows XP session on the, that, that is the IP on my router assigned to that box and I can operate it and do whatever it is I want to do with it. And that's essentially it. There's really not much more to it. And then I can minimize this and go back to other things I want to do in Ubuntu and so on. And then, or if I want to, I can just go back to it in the taskbar here and, uh, what I'll do is I'll just close this session, I'll just exit out, which is not pr proper because it'll give you an error when you do that, but it's not going to hurt it or anything like that. But you should log out properly. And I'm just going to cancel that, and it'll come back here. And I can save this if I want to, and just save it as uh, a TS client file. I'm not going to bother with that, but you could if you wanted to. And yeah, that's it. That's how to do it. Now, in order to get this to work, by the way, the Windows XP machine that you have to connect to has to be willing, or excuse me, not willing, uh, you have to enable the uh, remote connectivity via RDP on it. And uh, actually, you know what, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let me connect back to the machine here. And this is in the control panel. And I believe it's under system. Just go in there. And then under remote yep uh, under remote desktop allow users to connect remotely to this computer you have to have this checked in order to connect over RDP and that's essentially it and also if you don't have a password assigned to the computer you really should go for just for security's sake never mind for other things just for security's sake go to user accounts go to your administrator account like mine is just my name and then if there's no password assigned just click change my password and assign a password to it that's just smart to do anyway and let's close this close that get rid of the error and close this and we're done that's it take it easy